So hello everyone and welcome once again to some more modded Days Gone gameplay. Now today's video is actually pretty special. But before that, there's a clue I want to follow. You see, we are going after a hostage. Now this episode is special because today we are running a mod that I've never used before called Risky Business. Now the cool thing about this mod is that it enables freakers and, well, pretty much every zombie in the game to hear you 10 times further away. So you could imagine what it's like running around in the nighttime. You shoot your weapon and all of a sudden you have a horde going after you, which you can't even see at first. On top of that, there's 5 times more spawns of everything between breakers to Screamers, which by the way, they do spawn hordes now. So yeah, it's gonna be, uh, well, I am kind of scared. God damn it. Luckily, there was only one of them. Hmm. More clues. Also, on top of that, there's five times more chances of random encounters. So, anarchists, ambushes, everything in between. Hmm. Cannot say I like the noise this cave is uh, making. Really seems like there are some zombies here. Maybe a horde sleeping in within these chambers here. But we gotta find our hostage though. Yeah. So yeah, these dudes are anarchists and I've noticed now that they're all over the place. Gotta love the snappy headshot sound in this game though. Really good. It also seems like we have to go up now. Which is never really good, is it? Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I think we're fine. I definitely see one more flashlight though. Yeah. Yeah, there's one of them. Seems like there's a natural hole above the ceiling here. And the reshade is just making those ray traces look even brighter. By the way, the reshade is also in the description below. If you want to check it out, it's really good, really creepy, just the way I like it. Anyways. Awesome. That's a job well done. Now here's the problem. I cannot get away from the cave now. Look at this. There was actually a horde there. Oh, seems like there were some guys outside that we might have missed. Luckily though, I have brought myself some supplies. Hmm. This should work, right? And now we burn them up. Wow, look at that. That's a goddamn barbecue right there. <laughs> Gotta say though, the uh, cocktail molotovs on this game, the good ones are very, very powerful. My biggest issue is that I actually need to go to a cave once again. You see, it's a little bit different now. We're not looking for a hostage. Right now, we're looking for something to build a bomb with. 
But before that, we're gonna need this. This is a testing kit, I'm gonna use it to see if what I'm getting is actually the good stuff. Hmm. So this one is a little bit different. It looks like an old abandoned mine, which makes sense. We are looking for a Cinnabum. I believe that's the correct name. I never heard of it before, but that's what we're looking for. And I guess we have to go down there, which is not very appealing. So we grab it, we get our kit, scrape a little bit off the wall, and then we test it. And if it's good, we take it, but sooner or later, we gotta turn the flashlight on. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. And there's more too, holy crap. Damn. This weapon rebalance mod is just absolutely insane. It makes the uh, honey badger pretty much a one-shot kill. Now, this might be a bad idea, but I noticed there's a generator here. So I'm gonna turn it on, get some light. It's probably gonna make a ton of noise and attract a bunch of them, but I'm fine with that. Just let there be light, man. Yep, they're coming. Hmm. So that wasn't too bad, only two of them. I was expecting a lot more, but this thing really is loud. Jesus Christ. The cool thing about this cave is that I'm pretty sure it was also used as a feeding ground for the hordes. You can see all of the blood everywhere. And it's a big cave too. Yeah, look at this, it has hordes all over it. Just written all over it, look at this. It's crazy stuff, man. Pretty sure it's nighttime, that's why it's clear. But during the day, I'm very sure this is not the place you wanna be at. Anyways, I'm gonna grab the last one. And I'll meet you guys outside. There's a couple more things that I need to do. That's the exit. Another room here. Hmm. Rest in pieces. So it is already daytime, which is cool. I have to go to the other side of the map now for some interesting findings, though. Seems like these ones were a couple anarchists just running around and killing people. And you know what? I am pretty sure they're not alone. Look at this, man. An anarchist base camp. And there's a guy right here. Awesome. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go for it. There's a couple more over there. There we go. Some bikes coming in though. One, two, three guys. Four. Holy crap. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Hmm. Oh, there's a clue right here on the tree. Okay. Let us see where it takes me. So it wants me to go this way. That's the anarchist sign right there. You see them all over the place. Pretty cool one. Hmm, a blood pool. Oh. Well, something went down. <laughs> oh. 
And now we know. Now the cool thing is, I need to go inside this house, but there's a breaker right there. Now I need to find a supply, I think it's called yeast. Um, but I cannot. Oh, there's two breakers there. What the hell? If they spot me and I start blasting, there's gonna be a horde right on top of me. So I need to find a way to get in and get out without getting spotted. That's easier said than done though. He's just killing everything, even the newts. Oh, there's a third one. Holy crap, okay. Let me get inside. Not cool, man. Okay, good. We're in. Now, where is the goddamn yeast? I think it's this white thing here. It's glowing. Nice, we got it. Now, there's something else that I've always wanted to do. And today we're gonna try it. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. <laughs> Catch my drift. Another drifter camp, this one pretty large, much bigger than the other one, that's what she said, okay. Seems like they're having fun there, just fighting and everything. And there's a big guy coming in, look at him. Holy crap, that's a juggernaut. Well... Violent people, these ones. Just violence all over the place. One more. He's alive. He was alive, never mind what I said. Oh, come on. Hard to aim sometimes. There we go. The mod is starting to do its work, as you can see. They're coming in. Attracted by the gunshots of this guy and probably the Molotov cocktail that... Well, I threw before. But the thing is, now I am kind of scared that I might have overreached myself because... If a horde comes down on me, I guess I could go up to a tower or something, but... <laughs> Pretty bad, because I'm out of uh, Molotovs now. But no, I think we're good. He's like, what happened? Why is everyone dead? I was just chilling and now everyone is dead. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I think I'm having way too much fun on this thing. The zombie noises keep creeping in. I have no idea where they are. But they're somewhere. Pretty sure this game doesn't have that uh, background noise. Anyway. That was the last one. Let's um, check out the bunker. Wow, we did one hell of a job here, didn't we? Just complete meltdown. <laughs> These reshade though. It's actually really good. Really, really like it. It's called Dawn of the Dead. I have to be honest, this is probably one of the best bunkers I've ever seen in this game. I will totally sleep here. 
Yeah. It's a good doomsday bunker. Okay, so there were some rumors that I was afraid to kill hordes. This is the second biggest horde of the game. And as you can see, I got a job done. 